So here we have a very simple, uh, cute, cute uh, HTTP server that uh, responds with the JSON object that contains message "Hello World." Uh, this application uh, listens by default on port eight zero eight zero eight thousand eighty, and uh, if there is an environment variable called port, then it will listen on that port instead. So uh, first we can try to build it locally and uh, then try to run it and test it that this uh, code actually works. And uh, after that we we can uh, try to deploy it to the good cloud services uh, manage runtime. So uh, Let's build it first. It shouldn't take a long time. So now it succeeded, so let's try to run it. Like this. And now it should be running on 8080 port, so let's try to open that address. And uh, as you can see, there is this uh, JSON response with message hello world, so it seems to work just fine. So let's uh, stop this process uh, here, local process, and uh, Let's figure out how to how to deploy this to the cloud services. So first we have to first we have to create a new uh, managed application runtime instance. You can do that from the uh, Qt Cloud Services console. So uh, I'm going to launch a new instance and give it the name. Uh, Cute hello world like this and create and now it should be running like this and uh, here we have some uh, information about this instance and there is this uh, app domain that we we are going to use it should be the domain that runs the application. So if we try to open it, it says that uh, no application is configured. So we don't have any code or application running there at, at this time. But um, let's see. So first thing, uh, we have to uh, tell some uh, Information to the runtime how to how to actually execute this uh, project. So first thing is that we need to set this uh, LD library path, and it can be done from uh, dot profile dot d folder in the project, and there can be a uh, uh, cell scripts that export environment variables. So I have here a uh, run in dot sh that contains this uh, export LD library path and it points to the QHTTP server slash lib folder. So when we are telling this then the runtime knows that the QHTTP server is uh, actually in, in this folder. And another configuration that we need is a uh, proc file that defines which, uh, what process is uh, are we going to uh, execute in the runtime? So the default process name is always uh, web, and uh, we tell that uh, web process is uh, executed like this. So it's a source slash runtime hello, and this is our binary that gets compiled. So let's try to deploy this to the cloud. Uh, first, we need this uh, git address from the console. Uh, we added this uh, git address as uh, git remote 
let's give it the name QTC like this and uh, then we try to push the code to the QTC remote like this uh, now the runtime uh, detected that the application is queued up and uh, after that it uh, will uh, uh, execute queue make make and uh, after it compiles it will uh, deploy the results to the managed application runtime instance and uh, here you can see uh, there is this uh, app URL that we can open now and check if this uh, application is actually working there. So let's switch to the browser and try to refresh this uh, application URL or application domain. Uh, and as you can see, now the code is running in this address inside the Qt Cloud Services Managed Runtime. And uh, if we want to make some changes to the application, let's try it. Uh, so we want to change the response then we can just do it here locally uh, then we rebuild it and uh, of course we have to run it so that we can see that it's actually working uh, let's try it at local host port yeah, it has this uh, hello cute world message. And uh, now we should try try to deploy this new version to the cloud. So of course we have to add add this uh, change to the version control like this, and uh, then try to push it to the cloud. And now it started to compile the application again and it should replace the running instance uh, after the compile finish like now so now the new version is deployed to the same address and if you are going to check that it should say after refresh that hello cute failed so yeah it's working so uh, this git push thing uh, will deploy the new version of your of your code to the cloud without downtime so it will hot swap those uh, runtime instances when you are deploying so there there will be no downtime but yep that's all